right? He spent the day on Sanibel Island asking for clarity and more importantly, when that precious freshwater wildlife could return. Like many things on Sanibel, Hurricane Ian changed the environment significantly. For example, the pond behind me was once freshwater is now saltwater. That's thanks to Ian's storm surge of 8 to 14 feet on Sanibel. And that change, well, that could be slow to reverse. I expect it to last between one, two, or three or four years, depending on the pond. Hurricane Ian storm surge changed these lakes and ponds in 24 hours time, changing it from fresh water to salt water. Of course, during Ian, we had that big storm surge and all of our freshwater habitats, you know, within 24 hours went from being freshwater to being marine habitats. So all the, the life that was in those lakes pretty much died off immediately. So we, we lost fish, we lost, you know, plants, we, we lost everything that depended on them to survive in our freshwater habitats. The changes in salinity are being studied separately by both Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation and Florida Gulf Coast is Water School. Both organizations are clear that these changes could cause algae blooms of all types over the next year plus. We're going to be getting different kind of algae blooms in our lake that people haven't seen before just because they're different habitats than they were before. But there's always gonna be some algae that wants to bloom, no matter you know what kind of water you have uh, in your system. But why? Dr. Serge Thompson says it's due to nutrient loading that was in the freshwater lakes prior to Ian. Normally most of the pond or lakes I study in Florida are phosphorus limited. So phosphorus is one of the major nutrients that create algae bloom. And now they're salt water, so actually there is a shift between the phosphorus limitation to a nitrogen limitation. The problem is that nitrogen is very, is found in very high concentration in those ponds. So now you have nutrient nitrogen rich pond that are salt water which actually trigger algae bloom. Researcher at SECF, Dr. Mark Thompson agrees. He says the best thing we can do is wait it out. And when that becomes freshwater ecosystem again, we can address the potential algae issues and remove the nutrients that could spark new blooms. But there's really not much you can do other than, you know, wait for the rain. And then once we get rain and the systems start being fresh again, we can start you know, looking at the proper plants in our yards, the pop proper plants in our lakes to control the nutrients and everything. Both men agree it could take some time for these systems to be flushed out and return to their pre-EN status. Dr. Thomas says this is also a key piece of research because it's not been studied much with previous hurricanes. This research could also lead to better preparedness and recovery in the future. On Sanibel, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.